our goal is to go from a table like this with blanks in the date column and no unique identifier for transactions and roll it up into transactions. Now, last video, we did it with worksheet formulas. This video, we're going to do it with dynamic spilled array formulas. And next video, we'll see Power Query. Now, here's the dynamic spilled array formula I was going to use until our teammates at YouTube, Victor and XL Lambda, showed me a better way. Now we still have the fundamental problem that we don't have a unique identifier to identify transactions. I need to know that these four rows are one transaction. Now we created this number series in essence with a running total formula, but we're gonna use scan. Last time I used scan with lambda, and now we're just gonna use scan with the sum function. Now I wanna show you the array that we're gonna create inside of scan. I'm highlighting the field name for date and all the records, and I want to ask the question, are you not empty? And the syntax we're going to use for empty is double quote, double quote, which is technically a zero length text string. So is the cell not empty? True, true, false, true, and so on. Now we get a bunch of trues and falses, and we need to convert these to ones and zeros. And that array is going to be inside of scan, in essence, trying to add one, two, as a running total, two, three, 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 and so on. Any math operation will convert true to one and false to zero. And the initial value inside of scan is going to be zero. So that's simulating what's going to happen. And then from that value right there, one cell above as a relative cell reference, that's what scan function does so well we're always going to add the next value in the array. So this is what we're trying to generate using scan. All right, so there's our array. That's going to go in the second argument, scan. Well, the initial value, that's 0, comma. That's the array that we're scanning as a relative cell reference, always adding the one above. And instead of having to type out lambda, we have eta lambdas. So now we can just type sum, and then behind the scenes, the code builds the lambda. And you gotta be kidding me. There's our marker for each group. Now this is different than the set of numbers we created last video. This has one extra category at the top because I'm gonna need those headers in the final report. But notice, it doesn't matter what marker we have to mark whatever records belong to a group, but two, that will get those two. Three, 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 that will get these four. So in the top, F2. Now we just put this inside of group by. Those are the row fields. That's where the group by function or a pivot table extracts a unique list, one item for each row that's used as criteria for making the aggregate calculations, comma, the values. Guess what? I want not only all the field names, but all of the records. Now we're going to need three functions because we're going to do something tricky here. Thanks to Excel Lambda and Victor and Software Train. If I do sum on this column, well, guess what? This group right here, it has a serial number under there plus zero is the serial number. Same with here, three zeros plus that serial number, that will be the serial number. And of course, we'll use number formatting to show as a date, comma. That is what we're going to do in function. Actually, we're going to use array to text to join all of the descriptions. And then we'll sum to get total sales. H stack, that's what Microsoft requires us to use to put three functions. Sum for the first column. Array to text for the second column. Comma, sum for the third. Close parentheses. Actually, just for a second, Alt Enter. Alt Enter and Alt Enter. All right, so that's the function comma field headers. We definitely have them and we want to show them. So I'm going to say three comma. We don't want subtotal zero. Close parentheses just to make this neat Alt Enter. Now when I control Enter, wow, look at that. We have from here over to here exactly what we want. Now we just use drop to drop the first row and the first column. F2 drop. 
All right, I formatted a little bit, but that's all the array, comma, alt, enter. How many rows? Positive in rows takes from the top, minus from the bottom, so I want to take away the top row, comma. Same thing for columns. Positive one takes the first one, a negative would take the other side. And you've got to be kidding me. That formula right there, bam, F2, I like Control X, tab, Control V, and now we can do bam, there's our report. A single cell formula. And man, is it awesome hanging out on our online team. Excel, Lambda, Victor, and Software Train all came up with similar formulas. All right, we'll see you next Excel Magic Trick for perhaps the best solution of all, Power Query. Yeah.